All right, so Don writes in. He says, uh, Josh, love your videos. Thanks. Uh, maybe this would be a good video. He says, I have 150 k in a traditional IRA. Uh, he says, it's all in Vanguard Total Index. Move more power to him. He also has 150 k in an S&P 500 index fund. It doesn't look like that's in an IRA, though. He owes 125 k on his mortgage. Uh, considering the election and uh, COVID influences on the market, I'm thinking about cashing out my IRA and paying off the mortgage. Uh, the price of mine would be wonderful. Peace of mind. Uh, price of mine. Peace of mind. And my mortgage, after I would return to building my retirement savings. Okay. His income is about uh, 125. He's 55 years old. He wants to simplify his life in about five years and work, but at something fun. Have no mortgage would be helping me to do this. Uh, I'm getting, cons I'm considered, I'm going to get tested for the commie virus. Uh, okay. Okay. That way we'll get, gotcha. Uh, they were never to say okay, so he wants to qualify for the CARES Act. If you're taking it as an IRA and have it, um, not be subject to the 10% penalty. Hey, handsome. Um, my thought is that the election goes poorly in the market, uh, may get hit hard and, and go stagnant like the Obama years with little growth. Uh, is a paid off mortgage worth it going into hard times? So let's just be clear here. The, uh, the, the markets under Obama did fine. The markets themselves. So you can't, the, the economy was, was a plow or what, uh, what was my man, Brian Westbury called a plow horse. It's just, you know, grinding away, you know, one inch at a time, one inch at a time, but the markets did great. And the reason, cause that was such off a decline during the uh, great recession that, but under the Obama years, th this, you would have been made a huge mistake if you had done that. Um, I, I don't think I would do that. I, I actually think what I would do is if you got five years left and you get, we'll just say you got 120 and you're making 125, um, 125 present value, zero future value. We got uh, 60 payments, Pablo. So I'm trying to see how much you would have to pay. We'll just say our 4% interest rate. Oops. 4% uh, interest rate. There we go. Ah, 4% interest rate. There we go. Oh my man, it's 12, it's the number of payments, there we go. All right, cool, four, interest, yeah, okay. And we got uh, 60 uh, payments, 125 is our present value, zero future value, compute payment. You'd pay about 2,200 bucks a month to have that sucker paid off. Now, I, that's not including escrow. What I suggest is that you just say, look, um, pay 2,200 bucks a month and just have that thing paid off. All right, that's what I would do. I, uh, I, you know, at the end of the day, I think liquidity is still king always, and uh, and having uh, basically almost a half your portfolio gone uh, for the for having a mortgage. Nah, I don't think that's worth it, man. I just don't. And uh, you can't look at Obama years because the Obama years actually was the was not was actually uh, not proved your point. It disproved your point. You would have wanted to have done this. My hair is all messed up. You would have wanted to have to not have done that in the Obama year simply because the market did so well. No other way around that. So I think what I would do is just worry about your cash flow, plug that away to your mortgage, and you know, five years from now you retire, be done with it. So twenty two ninety four a month, pay that sucker off. Hope this helps. Thanks now.